Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Holmes, and today we're going to be discussing subclinical hypothyroidism. It's estimated that about 20% of the U.S. population suffers from subclinical hypothyroidism. That's actually more prevalent than type 2 diabetes. I work with so many women who get so frustrated because they feel all of those symptoms of hypothyroidism, yet all their labs keep coming back normal. And they want to know, why are my labs normal, but I don't feel normal? And that is what we call subclinical hypothyroidism. So, to understand how thyroid hormones are made and to understand some of the lab work, we're going to discuss where thyroid hormones come from. So we actually begin in the brain first. Our brain produces something called thyroid stimulating hormone to do exactly what it sounds like, to stimulate thyroid production. So the brain releases TSH, it'll come down to the thyroid where we will produce T4 and T3. Now, about 93% of your T4 is made in, in your thyroid and only 7% of your T3. Well, why is that so important? The most metabolically active thyroid hormone, the one that helps you lose weight, one that helps you go to the bathroom, the ones that give you all of those, will relieve all of the subclinical hypothyroidism symptoms that you have is T3. Yet our thyroid produces very little of that. So other parts of our body are responsible for converting that T4 into T3, especially the liver. Liver does 60% of that. We also have gut and other peripheral tissues that will help the conversion of T4 into T3. So that's how thyroid, in general, how thyroid hormones are made. So we start with brain, and then we get the production of thyroid hormones within the thyroid, and then outside of our thyroid, we get more T3. Remember, T3 is the hormone that's giving us those good feelings that come with thyroid hormones. So oftentimes, what's being measured is just TSH and T4. To be considered hypothyroidism, you have to have low T4 and high TSH. A lot of people are coming in with subclinical hypothyroidism are this scenario right here. They have high to normal TSH, remember that's coming from the brain, with a normal T4. The reason why your TSH would go up and up is because it's trying to tell the thyroid, hey, we need more thyroid hormone. So as your T4 starts to dip low, your brain says, uh-oh, we need more. We need more of more thyroid hormone. So it'll kick on TSH to try and kick the thyroid into gear to produce more T4. So the fact that your TSH is a little high is already saying that your thyroid is under-functioning because there's absolutely no reason for your thyroid to thyroid stimulating hormone to be on the high side if your thyroid is functioning appropriately. So that's why high to normal TSH is still a sign of hypothyroidism. The most common cause that is often, way often not looked at, the most common cause of subclinical hypothyroidism and regular hypothyroidism is an autoimmune condition usually in the form of Hashimoto's disease. So what is absolutely imperative to get tested, especially if you're feeling all these thyroid symptoms and all your labs are coming back normal, what we wanna do is test for TPO antibodies as well as something called thyroglobulin antibodies. Again, that's TPO antibodies, TPO, and thyroglobulin antibodies. If you show up positive for these, what it means is the reason why your thyroid is under-functioning is because your immune system is producing antibodies to attack your thyroid. When your thyroid has been attacked, it doesn't function very well afterwards. So that's why we'll see lower T4 and your TSH from your brain, because remember your brain saying, hey, thyroid hormones are a little on the low side, let's pump out more stimulating hormone in order to get the thyroid to produce more of that T4, we'll see subclinical hypothyroidism. So that's your little lecture today on thyroid and thyroid hormones. If you liked this information, please look at our website. You'll find loads more information like this, even what we suggest panel-wise or blood panel-wise, what you should get run to really get a look at how your thyroid's working. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys again next week.